by-elections and a victory for each of the three main parties. But the gleam on the Tory trophy shines less brightly than the other two, with a major swing away from the party in all three contests. Labour's big gain was Selby and Ainsty. They won here with a majority of just over 4,000. The Liberal Democrats took Somerton and Froome with a majority of 11,000. But the Conservatives held on to Uxbridge and South Ryslip with a reduced majority of less than 500. Our political editor, Gary Gibbon, is here. Quite a day. Yes, and you might have expected uh, Labour to be basking in the glory of that Selby result, but there's a bit of friction tonight, and senior figures in the Labour Party are taking pot shots at Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, because they think that his uh, extension of the ultra-low emission zone uh, to Uxbridge basically cost them the election there, and, and what would have been a clean sweep for the anti-conservative uh, forces. He's pushing back a bit on that, but it opens up all sorts of other questions about how Keir Starmer runs the party and whether uh, there are great risks in moving beyond what he likes to do, which is not e expose too many flanks and give the opposition too many, uh, his opposition too many targets to fire at. Uh, that's where he wants to take things, but some people are already saying you need to be more definitive and clearer. For the Tories, they're looking at that Uxbridge result, which they only held on to by the skin of their uh, teeth, and thinking, well, this proves that actually wedge issues work. If you can find something that wedges people away from their normal party loyalties. And that might not just be things like ultra-low emission zones in outer London uh, boroughs, but could be, almost certainly will be, the immigration issue where they think they can peel people away from Labour. And for the Lib Dems, they're looking at the result that they got in Somerton and thinking, well, maybe we actually should be targeting more seats. They don't want to spread themselves as ridiculously thinly as they did in 2019, much to their uh, embarrassment. Uh, but they are thinking of building up that list. The key takeaway, though, is any of those swings would get the Tories out of Downing Street. The narrow path to victory that Rishi Sunak has talked about that is available to the Conservatives remains a very narrow and difficult ravine. We can win anywhere. Our historic by-election victory. No one expected us to win here. Three party leaders claimed victory. The quality of the wins varied greatly. I hereby declare that Keir Mather is duly elected. Keir Starmer's 25-year-old namesake in Selby overturned a 20,000 Tory majority. Thank you. Now, I want to begin my time as your MP by being very clear. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.